Man, the sports world, the internet, everyone's going crazy over this crossover James Harden had on Wesley Johnson. Today's video, I'm going to break down all the little details and how he did it, how you can add it to your game, and also let's talk a little bit about some of the people that are saying that it was a push off or a travel. I'm going to give you my two cents on that in this video as well. Coach Jesse Mincho at Get Handles Basketball, where I show you how to play like the pros. If that's something you're looking to do, make sure you click that subscribe button and that little bell icon so you can catch the newest videos the second they come out. And if there's anything else in your game that you're trying to improve make sure you check out my channel there's a good chance I already have a video on it but if I don't leave me a comment down below and let me know let's jump into how to do this James Harden crossover so at its very core really what this move amounted to was one of the moves I always tell you guys on my channel that is one of the best moves to break ankles the snatchback the reverse between the legs snatchback and if you also notice he applied some keys I'm always telling you guys that help you break more ankles he got close to the defender, he got some momentum going, and there was a change of speed and change of direction. All big factors for breaking ankles, and he did Wesley Johnson nasty on this move. The setup was basically he's doing his typical thing where he kind of rocks back and forth with the between the legs and crossover, right? And he hit him up with this between the legs, and he caught Wesley reaching. Wesley was here trying to reach for the basketball. From there, he came into one more regular dribble, kind of bad that arm away, uses his offhand to protect it. And from there, he started to attack hard, right? He took advantage of the defender trying to go for the basketball. Johnson initiated the contact, so in my opinion, it's okay that Harden put his off arm up to try to protect the basketball. So he disengaged that arm, got himself moving towards the basket. Wesley Johnson tried to stay tight with him, right? So he took one more hard dribble, and Wesley Johnson's moving with him. Now, some people were saying it was a push off before he went into the crossover. I have mixed feelings on whether he did or he didn't. At the end of the day, though, really, Johnson was kind of trying to ride with him. If he's playing tight on him and creating contact with Harden, in my opinion, and in most rest opinions, if Harden wants to initiate some contact back, they're going to let that slide. So, in my opinion, in that instance, it's okay. It would be a different thing if Wesley Johnson was just standing there here and he pushed into him like this. Wesley Johnson initiated the contact with the initial trident to steal the basketball and then move with him. From there, all Harden did was he hit him with this hard dribble, really got some momentum going forward. Again, kept his off arm active, and yeah, he might have gave him a little push, but the key on making that effective and the key on making it so you don't get called for a charge if you're going to try to do this is you can't really extend with the arm like this. you got to keep it tight to your body and maybe just give a little nudge like that. Some people probably have mixed feelings on whether you should be doing this or not. I'm here to tell you, most of us are going to be okay with it if the defender's initiating the contact. So, I mean, if they can touch you and push into you, why shouldn't you as the offensive player be able to do the same back, right? So from there, that contact happened. He kept driving hard, got past Wesley a little bit, which is key. That's what's really going to make it work. He got this foot a little bit past him, made this little last little bit of contact, reverse between the legs to come back to the opposite direction. Now that's a big key. When you go in that reverse between the legs, you want to make sure you're pulling the ball back. A lot of times when I see players do this, they'll do it kind of sideways, and you're almost pushing the basketball back into the defender. The idea is to come one way, pull the ball between the legs from the back, and come back the opposite direction, which is exactly what Harden did. The other thing he was really good about is he had the presence of mind to get this back foot back behind the three-point line. Now, in regards to the travel, some people said it was a travel. I'd have to see a really slow-mo version of it. I haven't had the chance to do that yet, but based on what I have saw, I'd say it's probably okay according to the new rules. FIBA added this into the rules now. I think the NBA has been calling it this way for a while, but basically they give you the zero step or the gather step, which basically means they don't count your steps until both hands are on the basketball or the hand that's dribbling is clearly under the basketball. Then they'll start counting your steps when you've clearly gathered the basketball. But that step where you're first getting both hands on the basketball, they're not counting that step. After that, you get two steps. So based on those rules, Harden's been really doing a great job of taking advantage of this. I know it bothers a lot of people, even me. When I see some of the stuff, it looks weird, and it looks like it probably is a travel, but according to the new rules, in most instances, he's probably okay. In this instance, it looked like he was because he came here, he had to shuffle this back foot back a little bit to get it back here, and then from there, all the steps are really with this foot for the most part. So he kind of came here, shuffled, shuffled, and this back foot looked to me like it was planted before he did this little steps here, here, he kind of toyed with the defender, right? Looked at him and then went into the shot. So that's my two cents on whether it was a travel or not. But all together, I mean, you put all that together, the momentum, the contact, getting tight to the defender, getting a little bit past him, 
and then that exact opposite change of direction tough move you can add into your game now this is just one of many moves obviously you can use to break ankles if you want some more ways to get ankle breaking handles click the top link in the description down below that's a 100 free workout that'll show you some moves and drills to work on those moves that will be perfect for breaking ankles just click that link pop in your email i'll send that to you instantly for free it's right thousands of players and i'm positive it'll help you too also if you found this video helpful do me a solid hit that like button and check out this video and this playlist you're gonna dig those as well thanks for watching stay tuned for more and make moves today